Let's bake a cake. Let's bake a green cake. Let's bake a cake. Let's bake a green cake. It's fun to make. Make a cake to succeed. This is what we will need. Let's sift some flour. Hola, cześć. Żywo. Hello. My name is David, um, and welcome to the first part of our Slovenian show called Cooking with David. It will take place every morning, every Monday afternoon, because as you know, Monday afternoons are usually really boring, and we will try to make them a little bit more funny with us. So uh, today we're gonna prepare a uh, dessert which is called slatke prosene kuglice, sweet millet balls, and for this we will need. First, a cup, as you can see here, of millet, proso. Then the second thing will be milk, mleko. Then uh, some water, coconut, some uh, hazelnut, leśniki. If you, if you say it in Polish, it's orzechi laskove. Then also we will need some dates, datelni, uh, rodzinki, kakao proszku, and some honey to, to make things a little bit more sweet. So, now I will invite you to the first part, uh, for which you will need a bucket, uh, and in this bucket you will also put the first three ingredients, and uh, I will show you how. Let's get busy, busy. Okay, so now we are at the first part, which takes us, we have to put millet inside of the bucket. You put the whole bucket inside, like that. Then we need some water, you put water. Like that, as you can see, that's enough. Uh, a little bit, it stays inside, maybe for later. And then we pu we put also milk, like that. Bravo. And now we all put together on the fire, and we leave it for circa for for a little fire like this. You can see we leave it for approximately 10 to 15 minutes until all the water vaporizes, and after that. Uh, we will go to the next step. Thank you. Let's get busy, busy. Okay, so while our proso is cooking, um, you can see how it looks like. We have to stir it a little bit, like that, so it doesn't stick on the bottom of the bucket and that we won't have a lot of unnecessary work at the end of our show. Okay, like that. And at the end, I will also show you how it looks like when all the water vaporizes and uh, if we need to add more or not. Let's get busy, busy. So, now, when, the, all, when all of the water vaporized, uh, we can try how it tastes and to see if our proso, our prosena kasha, is already made or not. And if it's not, you can feel it like it's still uh, really hard. So we just add the rest of the milk, which we saved from before, and the rest of the water, like that. All of it. Like that. We stir it a little bit so it doesn't stick on the bottom. And we put it on the fire again, maybe a little bit more, and just wait again till all the milk and water vaporizes and then after that we're gonna go to the next one. Let's get busy busy. So okay, while we are waiting that our water and milk vaporizes, we will of course not get bored, so let's turn on some music. And I will invite you for some really good Greek drink, which is called Ouzo. For those who haven't tried it, it's really really strong. It has 40% of alcohol and if you mix it with water, it changes color. So, we put a little bit, a little bit more because it's Monday. So, it's just the start of the year anyway and it's the start of the week. So, we can add a little bit more. And now I will like demonstrate this phenomenon which is called making the water white. So, how to make water into milk? You just take some pusa, put it in a glass, put some of this, like do this, and... Oh, that's good. 
And now we, we can also check how our porridge looks like, our prosso. You see it's sticking a little bit because uh, we were drinking guzo and we didn't pay attention. So maybe we give it a little bit like two minutes and after that it's gonna be okay. Uh, Vitam is povrete uh, in our TV show called Cooking with David on Mondays. So now after all of this time, all the water and milk has vaporized. As you can see, it looks like that, a little bit more sticky. Um, so we turn off the fire and we put all of this porridge millet, whatever, I don't know how to say it in Polish. Uh, we put it on the plate like this. So it cools down. Uh, we have to take everything because we're gonna need it. Like this. And after that, when we wait for some time that it cools down, and when it does, we're gonna go to the next step, which is, which will be putting all of the ingredients inside of the blender. Uh, if you don't have it, you can search, I don't know, on Bo Boha Pika Com, eBay, Hofer, or um, you can also go to YouTube and search for some videos with good quality blenders. And in case you won't find anything, you can always contact me on davidzupans1 at uh, gmail.com and I can also, I don't know, send you maybe something by post. Uh, it will be a really good price, so just Write me an email if you want, in English, Polish, whatever, Italian, I speak uh, a lot of languages, if not fluent, something. After Uzo, everything is fluent. So, we wait for this to cool down and then I will show you how to proceed with everything. Let's get busy, busy. Uh, hey, welcome back. Uh, okay, we will try if our millet, uh, if, if our prosena kasha has cooled down. Ah, jebem ti, ey. Uh, so we still have some time, um, okay, and in the meantime, uh, while we wait still to cool down, we can eat some ptasie mliczko, vanilove. It's marshmallows from Poland, can you believe it? And we will try them. Of course, all of this cooking has made me extremely hungry, so why not? Like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, this is actually pretty good. It's really, wow, okay. The hero is like maybe in 15 minutes. I don't know. Let's get busy, busy. Hey, welcome back. Uh, after all of this cooking, Uzo, hard work, Ptasha Mlečko, and of course also the global warming in freaking Novo Mesto, it like it led to this that I have to take clothes off because it's so freaking hot and I don't want to look, you know. Anyway, so now when the prosena, prosena kasha prosso has uh, cooled down, we have to add uh, honey, datli, and rojinki. So we put approximately, I don't know, two spoons of honey, like this. This is the first spoon. Anna, Anna Zhnitsa Meda in Slovenian. And then we take the another one and we say druga žlica meda. We put it like this, you see, bravo, super. If you successfully came to this part, you can proceed, uh, of course, to the next one, which is we put inside that leaf. Like this. Mm -hmm. And rojinki, rosini, raisins. of the ingredients like this and then we have to take the upper part lock it down if it's not plugged in I have to plug it in because these things only work on electricity I don't know if how it is involved but here they work on electricity and then you have to grind it all so it becomes really smooth <laughs> Let's get busy, busy. 
It's not that well actually. Write it so maybe we give it another two spins, huh? What do you think? It does take a lot of time, but... So, all the people watching this, do you think it's okay? Yeah? I also think so. So, okay. Um, then we like steer it a little bit, check it again. And after that, we go to the next step, which I will show you in a minute. Ooh, let's get busy, busy. So, um, and welcome back again. Um, after everything was grinded really well, we put all the cacao powder inside, uh, cacao of a proshko. We put it inside like this, like this, and then we start adding also our leshniki, hazelnut, orzechovi leshnik, leskove, and uh, in case it is gonna be too much, then you're fucked, I guess, because I supposed to leave like half of it, but fuck it. Anyway, we will see how it's gonna be. So. We put this like that. Let's get busy, busy. So we added uh, coconut powder, cacao de prosciutto, leshniki. Now we mix everything so it like goes together. So we start. Let's get busy, busy. After mixing everything, we taste how it is. Mm, it's really it's sweet. If you need, if you want it more sweet or anything else, you can add like whatever you want. Um, now, almost the last step, it's adding coconut powder. We mix it approximately half of this, mm, maybe a little bit more, like this. Okay, and the rest we put on the plate. Because we're gonna use it later for rolling, of course. Just like that. Okay, we can add maybe a little bit more here, like this, and this. Okay. Let's get busy, busy. So, slowly, slowly, we are coming to our last step. We just mix everything again together inside of the blender. That looks okay. So we take out the top part. Then, just in case, we try it a little bit. Mm. Better than the last time. Mm -hmm. So, and we take the spoon like this, and we make a little ball. Can see like that? We make little balls. That's why it's called uh, sweet millet balls. Slatke prosene kuglice, and then we put it inside of the coconut powder or mixture or whatever you want, and voila, the first one is made. And then you put it like this, and then you take another one and continue until you like make all of them. Let's get busy, busy.
And so we made quite a lot of them as you can see our sweet little balls, Slovenian balls. And now we will make the last one and co to jest? Nemáme, nemáme materiala. I the EMT. Yeah, nič, nothing. Like after all good meals, sweet, sour, salty, whatever. What do you have to drink? Of course, coffee. So we will call our most, most, most delicate, famous, I don't know, uh, guest we have here in Slovenia. And his name is, you will not believe it, George freaking Clooney. Let's get busy, busy. So thank you for staying us till the end of the show. Uh, this is it for today. And see you next week. Mm. Sweet Slovenian meal and balls. And coffee, what else? Let's bake a cake. Let's bake a green cake. Let's bake a cake. Let's bake a green cake. It's fun to make. Make a cake to succeed. This is what we will need. Let's sift some flour. Let's sift some flour. Yeah, I could do it for hours. Sifting all that flour. We gotta crack some eggs. Crack some eggs now. Yeah, you don't use your legs to crack your eggs. Sugar will pour. Sugar we will pour. Don't get it on the floor. This is the way to be overweight. <laughs> the sugar that we pour. Two sticks of butter. Two sticks of butter, yeah, it makes my heart flutter. Thinking about all that butter. Now add some milk. Add some milk, it'll feel like silk. After we add some milk. How about some vanilla? How about some vanilla? It doesn't take a gorilla to know we need some vanilla.